guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have a super exciting review today because it is a figure that we have waited a very long time to get a look at, and as you can probably tell already just by the body we have right here, we are looking at the W Dragon Giraffe Titan, and it is huge, the face is completely drowned out thanks to the light on it right there due to the awkward kind of positioning of the figure being so insanely tall. And at first glance, I must say, it is an absolutely gorgeous looking sauropod figure. Really nice. Sculpt overall as far as both the detailing and just generally the appearance to the figure. And another really nice paint job on the part of W Dragon as per usual as well. So let's just go ahead without any further ado and get a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Giraffe Titan, you can see it does sport some incredibly nice detailing overall. You have the nostrils sculpted out up there. They look really, really nice, as does the skin texture in general on the head sculpt. It's beautifully done. You can see the ear back there as well. Beautifully painted eye. It does include a really nice gloss coat that you can see kind of shining and glistening as I turn the figure right there. It's got a really nice dry brushing over top of the head sculpt, kind of like a lighter coloration similar to what you see on the underside of the dinosaur. So it does bring all the wonderful detailing of the head sculpt out in really nice fashion. The inside of the mouth as well is really quite impressive, and this is one area I guess I didn't really expect to be as nice as it is. You could see if it would focus a little better. You've got a really nice tongue sculpted out in there and glossed to absolute perfection. You can see as I'm turning it, it really has that kind of really nice realistic wet look to it, as well as the teeth, and each tooth is beautifully sculpted and beautifully painted. You can see every tooth is individually sculpted in there, extremely impressive. You can even see up there on the upper side of the mouth, the teeth and everything in there. So as far as minute detailing goes, that area is just pretty much off the charts for this dinosaur. As we start to move down the neck, you can continue to see how nice that skin texture is. And the neck is extremely long, so we've got quite a ways to go down here. You've got lots of really nice creasing and everything going on in the skin. Lots of kind of cracks and crevices throughout. Beautiful skin texture. As you can see, the neck tends to get wider the closer we get to the body, of course. Then once we get to the base of the neck, you can see it gets very wide and the skin texture continues to look absolutely gorgeous the whole way down. You can even kind of take note to the throat there on the underside. Look at how long that neck is. That's just insane how tall this figure truly is. And you can also kind of see like almost like the musculature of the neck as well. Once we actually get down here into the body, you can make out the shoulder blade really beautifully displayed there in the sculpt. You've also got some really nice skin creasing going on right there, right behind the front leg, and that's because the leg is pushing into the body a little bit, causing that really nice creasing right there in the skin texture. You can make out the seam right here, but I don't really think it's anything terrible. W Dragon usually does a really good job of hiding the seams of their figures, so it is kind of shocking to me that you would see a seam on this one as well as I do right there, but I don't think it's any kind of like an eyesore or anything that really takes away from the figure. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. As you move down the front leg, though, you can see a really nice leg sculpt, beautiful foot lifting up off the ground, and you can also just generally make out like the entire structure as far as like the bone structure and the muscle tone and everything of that leg, and it looks really nice. You do have the elbow back here. The skin texture is off the charts on this figure. You can see it just looks beautiful everywhere you look at it. If we take a look at the leg, again, it's a very big figure, so it's going to be kind of like an awkward look at the figure at times to try to really get it in frame as good as we can. But you can see that foot sculpt looks extremely nicely done. Beautifully painted nail, and I love how the nail kind of starts out here with like a darker coloration and transitions to like a light brown. They've done a really good job of making it look extremely lifelike and realistic. You can also see that over here. And the nails are beautifully glossed as well. As I turn it, just like with the eyes and the mouth, you can see how nicely glossed that is. So it does generally look like a real nail would. You can also see like the chest area of the dinosaur and how nicely done that detailing there is. As we move back into the stomach, again, beautiful skin texture. And it may not pick up so well on camera, but there are a lot of different variations of browns and grays and everything, it seems like, included in the figure. So it really does give it an extremely realistic look as far as like the skin tone goes and the many different variations of color that would be included on a real living animal. So I think the paintwork is pretty much top notch. You've got some really nice skin wrinkling and kind of skin folding and everything going on here in the lower part of the stomach. Pretty much exactly what I would expect to see on a dinosaur like this. You've got a really nice hip bone right there. Beautiful muscle tone displayed the whole way down. And it's not anything that's like 
overly sculpted so that it looks just kind of fake. It really does like genuinely look like a real leg sculpt in the way that you would kind of see the musculature and the muscles tensing, especially down here in the calf. I really like the calf area and I love the way the skin kind of looks like it's reacting just to like the movement of the leg. You've got a beautiful kneecap right there. And again, the foot sculpt looks insanely nice back here as well. Very nicely painted nails, lots of really nice skin wrinkling going on. So overall, the foot sculpt in both the front foot and rear foot, they're both absolutely incredibly nicely done. And then we come back up here into the tail. Again, some more really nice skin wrinkling, skin detail going on right there. As we start to lead out the tail, and you can again see like the many different variations of color included. And now you do pick up a striping that runs out the length of the tail, and it's beautifully applied, very nice and naturally applied. Nothing on this figure looks like paint as far as I'm concerned. It all generally looks like really nice, very realistic body color. I love the kind of slight curves to the tail, just giving it a really nice, elegant look to the figure overall. And the skin detail, again, is just off the charts. Look at how beautiful it looks there on the underside of the tail and the really nice skin wrinkling, skin folding and everything going on right there. Now taking a look at the opposing side, again the head sculpt is incredible and you can actually see right there in the nostrils, right there we can see that there is actually a gloss coat inside the nostrils as well. So that's another really kind of minor addition, a minor touch to the figure that really does a lot and adds a lot of realism I think to the figure. Again the ears are sculpted out back there, beautifully painted eye, no sloppiness whatsoever and very nicely glossed. The paint application is very nice and very precise the way they've applied it. Beautiful detailing again as we move down the length of the neck. It looks insanely, insanely nice. The skin texture the whole way down, the very nice paint application. I love the different tones of color that they've used on it. And then again we get down to the base of the neck. It's very thick, very large. We get that shoulder blade again over here just like we had on the previous side. And again, once again, you can see here that kind of seam, but it's almost hidden looking sort of like it's like one of the creases in the skin, but it is still kind of surprising to me that I would see that at all. Even still though, I think it's incredible. And once again, it's nothing that I think takes away from the figure and you really only notice it when you're up close because once you're a little further away, it is definitely not something that you pick up on. And then we move down the length of the leg again, really nice kind of uh, structuring to the leg, beautiful skin texturing, skin detailing, very nice musculature as we move down the leg. You again have the elbow over here and that beautiful foot sculpt right here in the front. Again, I'm not probably getting the absolute best angles of some of these areas due to the fact that this figure is just huge, but hopefully you've got a pretty good idea of everything going on with it here. Some more really nice skin creasing, skin detailing there again due to the movement of that front leg. Beautiful skin texture in general in the stomach region, lots of really nice skin folding and everything just like we had seen on the previous side. You can see the skin stretching more so over here due to this leg being in a backwards position, really stretching that skin out quite nicely. Gorgeous skin detail up here again on the body, and I love the spinal column that runs along the back. It looks extremely, extremely nice. You also have the hip bone right here, once again showing on this side, and that extremely nice looking muscle tone over here in this leg. Again, I really love the way that the musculature is displayed in the rear legs of this figure. The front legs too, but the rear leg just looks so beautiful and so natural to me. Very nice kneecap once again, the really nice calf muscle, and then we've got that foot sculpt over here. And again, I love the way the nails are painted as well, starting out with like a darker color and then lightening the further out into the nail that we get, and it is just perfectly glossed yet again. And then we have that really nice tail sculpt as we move out the length of the tail with those beautiful stripes and the really nice elegant curves to the tail. If we look at the underside here of the dinosaur, once again, you can see how incredibly nice the skin texture is overall. Again, it's a little tough to really get it into frame due to how large the figure is, but it is just insanely highly detailed in every area of this figure. Just look at that. I love the way, like, you can see, like, the skin kind of folding in here on the inside of the stomach with the way that the leg is pushing into the skin of the stomach region. Super, super awesome giraffe titan figure from w dragon now as far as a size goes this is definitely going to be one complicated figure to truly show you the measurements of but from your vantage point it's probably going to be a little hard to really see but i can tell you straight away it is 17 inches in height to the top of the head or about 43 centimeters both of those are almost exactly right on the money and then for a length if we position this back down here at the tail from the head to the tail, if we go this way at this angle, you are looking at a little over 21 and a half inches or about 55 centimeters 
somewhere in that range. So again, just absolutely massive is this figure. And to help show you that for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our gigantic W Dragon Giraffe of Titan. You can see so much taller than the rest of these figures that are way down here way smaller in general than this giraffe titan and i hope that next to these figures here you have a pretty good idea that this figure is absolutely massive so it is 100 percent worth the money to purchase this i was very impressed overall by the size of this figure and hopefully this here will show you just how impressive it is so this w dragon giraffe titan figure is absolutely everything i hoped it would be i am very very impressed overall and it's really nice to see w dragon taking a shot with some herbivores here because more often than not every time we get a w dragon figure it's been kind of a jurassic park inspired predator we've had like the spinosaurus two different variations of the t-rex and we've also had a few allosaurus figures already a few other ones we also have like a jp3 female raptor statue out currently and then also another tyrannosaur statue but as far as like herbivores go they've really kind of gotten like the shaft i guess you could say as far as the w dragon line goes but we aren't really all that far into w dragons line as we only have a few figures so far but it is really nice to finally get a herbivore from w dragon and seeing this kind of quality on the figure overall just gets me so excited about the future and uh the potential that w dragon holds to really create some of the best dinosaur figures on the market and this giraffe titan i feel like is definitely one of their best releases so far the overall beauty and elegance of the figure is 100 percent shown with a single individual look at the figure just from one glance from far away you'll see just how incredible looking this figure is overall and how striking it is it has just such a beautiful pose to the figure as it's just kind of walking along. It's actually very similar to the Tamiya Brachiosaurus. If you have a Tamiya Brachiosaurus, the pose is almost identical, but just like the legs are switched around a little bit. But again, absolutely insanely nicely done as far as the detailing goes and the paint job. I feel like every ounce of skin detail that would be shown throughout this figure with the way it's moving and walking along is completely perfectly done throughout the sculpt of the figure. And I feel like the paint job as well is just picture perfect for this type of a species. Every coloration that I see on this looks extremely natural and all the paint application is perfectly done as far as really being applied in very realistic fashion. Nothing looks like paint on a figure at all generally looks like body color. So. There's just so much about this figure that overall is just extremely impressive and again totally blown away when I got this figure out of the box and I still am to this moment right here just completely and utterly impressed in every possible way with how beautiful this figure is. So if this is a figure that you are looking for, my suggestion is get on getting a hold of it very very quickly because this figure has actually been selling out in a lot of places honestly there are actually very few places currently to even acquire this figure it seems if you're going to kind of hold out on this figure i recommend not doing that and trying to get a hold of it a lot sooner rather than later because some of the w dragon figures i never really realized that they actually sell out i guess he does discontinue them after a little while because if you try to find any of the previous versions of the allosaurus or even some of the tyrannosaurs like the older bull t-rex that they had done they're nearly impossible at this point to find so sitting out and waiting on this figure to get a little cheaper or something in my opinion is definitely a bad idea even myself trying to find one was actually a little bit of a task without having to wait a few months for some more to be produced yet again but uh, i'm really psyched that i did get this figure and again i do want to stress to you guys that if you want to pick this up i would take a chance on buying it right now and i will actually include a link in the description to where you can from an aliexpress seller that I buy figures from all the time that does currently have this in stock because a lot of people that are actually selling it currently do not have it in stock right now whereas he does so if you are interested in picking this up again check the description as i will have a link right there for you to go ahead head over to aliexpress and purchase this right now trust me you would never in a million years be upset that you purchased this it is so beautiful so make sure you follow the link in the description go buy yourself this incredible w dragon giraffe titan and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching